Hey, hey, yo, you already know this. It's your boy, Telephones in the Cut, and we out here. BTC episode number eight. And I'm out here with my boy, Ve. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Behind the creation. Behind the creation. The the podcast is about what? Tell them real quick. Tell them real quick. Tell them what? What the podcast is about. Come on. It's about behind the creation. (laughs) Tell them what that's about. Come on. I think you should tell them. Bro. Hey, yo, we are chairing the podcast. The podcast. <laughs> Solely speaking to, you know, people that are behind the, the creation of things like I'm a graphic designer, photographers, filmmakers. Everything. Everything. But today I'm sitting with a photographer slash market researcher slash market designer slash event planner event planner slash social media marketing planner yeah no. digital media marketing digital media marketing shit yeah <laughs> yeah but 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 before we get to that before we get to that hey no first of all bro i'm out here in Ridges bay guys i know things look different uh we're out here in Ridges bay at uh, Nevaeh's aunt's house uh shout shout out to the Shout out to the fam. Shout out, know. shout out, shout out. <laughs> for, you know, allowing us to be here. Uh, Regis Bay, by the way, home, my hometown, for those of you who don't know. And Nevei, by the way, is my homeboy. And yeah, we out here. And it, was, it wasn't hard, but it was... I know it was kind of like for him. Like, because he didn't reach out to me. I had to reach out to him and be like, bro, I need you on the show. Uh, oh, but yeah, we out here, bro. Like... How are you, dog? I am good, bro. I mean, it's hot. I don't know if they can tell on the camera, paid, bro. It's hot out here. I'm a tall, guys. It's hot out here. <laughs> nah, but besides that, we're good, homie. We're good. Yeah, we're too yeah, nice. Yeah, we're too nice, bro. And this day? How's the day been so far? Ah, the day is nice. I mean, the day just started, right? Just just started. Yeah, the day is early. Yeah. So, um, my man, I don't want to go into you just being in Richard's Bay now and yeah. us... You know, because people don't understand, bro. People yeah. understand. Take us back. Take us way back to the Casanova days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's when we started. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, tell me about the Vey, bro. Like, um, so guys on the Vey is like, it's like just one of those, like those guys, I guess, you know, because I've this is a person I've known from high school, but it's like one of those people that are like, you know, like those those Einsteins, and then all of a sudden now they're creatives. And then they'll be like, what you do in the creative industry? But <laughs> you don't even have to ask because you can see that it's crushing the creative industry. I mean, like, we don't understand Einstein as much as we don't understand Neve. So it's like, <laughs> Neve just <laughs> steps out and he steps in. And it's like, bro, what are you, uh, what's happening? So I just want to know, bro. Yeah. Like, I want to know where it's at now. But I don't want to just take people where it's at now. Mm. Can you just take us down from where it all started? And, you know, I don't want to talk about the inspiration, but I guess also want you to cover the inspiration, everything like that. Yeah. From getting to where we're at now. Yes, sir. I mean, I feel like we share a similar story on that one. We always talk about it. Like, Uh you know, it's a thing of like when we were growing up, uh, always been outgoing and trying new things. Oh yeah, yeah. Try dancing, try music. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Until you find your craft, until you find I what check, it is, then you put so your passion. So you've always also been that inclusive. Oh no, yeah, I have, actually have, actually have. But now, I know this Nave. Yeah, talk to me. You don't know me. I don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Well, yeah, man. I think um, first time. Okay, because obviously, mainly. We're talking about behind the creation. Creatively, I'm a photographer. Personally, bro. Mm. We, by the way, create uh, behind the creation. We speak to creatives, but not only about their creativeness, but about what they've been through and who they are personally. You know. So going back to that, where I go. wanted to start it off, right? Start it off with first time. Start off so first time I actually started getting creative because first in high school I started off. I used to play a lot of sports. I used to be in the books. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't actually creative. It didn't do much. Yeah, always a book guy. Eh? Mm, always a book guy. This guy got uh, a couple of A's. Yeah. And <laughs> until I got injured okay. uh, playing sports. Yeah. Oh, I remember that was grade nine. That was grade 10. 10. Yeah, grade 10. Okay. 
Yeah, we were on a tour, got injured. 2013. 2013. Yeah. So that's what kicked it off, right? Mm. Because I was... The rugby? Sp- there was, yeah, the rugby the r- kicked it off. Yeah, because... Because it's like a kickoff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you, you had to push that in there, hey? Okay, nice try. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. You can go out, you can go out. So yeah, because I got injured, I was looking for ways to still be part of the team. And um one of the teachers there gave me a camera. It's like, hey, yo, take some pictures of the guys playing, you know? Mm-hmm. You know what it's like, you know the team, go with them, take some pictures. So that's the first time that I started picking up a camera and that Hey, I didn't know this. You didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, well, hey, I don't know you, you don't know me. That's what you said. So uh yeah, that's the first time I picked up the camera. Um, I enjoyed it and I guess that also just set off my creative path because from there, as we said, I tried different things, music and all of that. Yeah, and so yeah. um always had a passion for photography since that moment. But then when it really when it offset was when I was in Pretoria. But then now Yeah. Well, slow down first of all. Okay, slow down. Your time, relax. Look I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to talk about now you just went um the music I know. Yeah. Though I don't know you, but I know that the music was the the guitar. Yeah, guitar. And I'm not too sure. In my thinking, you started that in like grade nine, though. Nah, grade ten. Ten as well. After the injury, yeah. After the injury, so yeah, after the injury. Got okay, off, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because sports weren't taking up my time anymore. Because so. um, so like, what was it though? Like, while the sports was happening, was now I want to be a sports player. Yeah. Okay. Just books and sports. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm getting hurt now. Let me try out something new. Yeah. Okay. So we pick up a guitar or what do we do first? Yeah, we pick up a guitar. We're interested in it. Found a guy who could teach me. Mm. Shout out to Kyle. Um, Shout out to Kyle, man. Shout out to Kyle. <laughs> yeah. So uh, taught me, used to sit with me. Um, yeah. First time I picked up an instrument. And then obviously just kicked it on from there. We even had our own thing. Hey man, uh. <laughs> Wait, we had a group, Nevea and I, 2014. Yeah, 2014 called the Great Small World. <laughs> we played a, two songs, I think. Yeah, but we won an award, so. But we won an award. Yeah, yeah. yeah so shout, shout out. out. Shout out. <laughs> and also, I'll be honest, like, I I I never knew how to play piano, but like I was a pianist, by the way. I wasn't the pianist, but I yeah. posed as the pianist, by the way. Um, what I just used to do was go on YouTube, what song are we doing? Learn this song, go out there, play it, you know? Yeah. And then the vibe would be like, hey, what song are we doing? We're like, hey, this song. And then we'd be like, oh, this song, yeah. And he's just playing it, already playing it, you know? So, man, you had that guitar shit in you. Is it done now? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You're because No, I still play. But, I mean, I kind of took my main focus into photography. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm speeding up now. So now we finished high school. We finished high school. We're doing, um, we're still, I guess, playing guitar. Mm. Um, but we still also have that academical thing. So coming out of high yeah. school, you wanted to do academical things yeah so what is it that you wanted to get to, into academics yes sir okay so yeah i guess that's where the story goes a bit up and down but we're going to talk about it <laughs> uh yeah so i went i did engineering mm-hmm. first year uk's it in uh damn that took a lot of my time bro mm-hmm. engineering i'm pretty sure everybody who studies engineering knows like yes sir yeah yes sir i'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, holding the mic <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't do much that year creatively. Uh, I was just focusing on the academics. I uh, kind of still f- trying to find myself. Mm. Um, wasn't too sure what I was doing, actually. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's that thing of just... So, like, um, I'm sorry to cut you there, but, like, um, so I also, like, if I recall now and look at first year, mm. I also didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, um, and... Not that I'd regret any of the decisions that I made then, yeah. you know, which you shouldn't, guys. But like now, in a way, like, um, if I had a little sister and she's coming out now to the world, mm. like, there's a lot of trial and error things that we do. And I'm not saying we have to, but we end up doing. But they're not for the worst. You know, we end up learning from them and coming up from them. Yeah. But 
it's so very easily, I mean, it's so very easy to be just easily demotivated by mm. what's going on around you and like what's happening. Like, of course, you're still explaining out the journey now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now you're just explaining the beginning. So I'm not asking about the whole journey. I'm just asking about the beginning part. Like, how do I know? Um, this is the journey, and how do I accept that it's got to be shit? You know, like mm. how do, what do you tell your your, the people behind you? You know, what like do you tell them? Hey, listen, when you go out there, it's gonna be shit, but this isn't that. <sighs> I think I think more than that because, what quickly came to mind when you you know you're like don't regret it, don't regret anything, um, because I think. A lot of the journey has to do with mentality mm. and the mentality that you should have is ownership. So even when it comes to regrets, as soon as you regret, you're blaming something. You're blaming yourself. You know, you're blaming other people, you're blaming circumstances, it's environment, so because at the end of the day, I won't tell a young person like, hey, yo, your journey is going to be crap, but, but the world is, you know, it's going to be difficult out there. And so when we come into that, um, and the whole blaming thing, like you need to learn to take responsibility, mm. you know? So for every action, for every outcome, for everything that you find yourself in, because that puts the power and the ownership within your hands. Oh, sure. If you're blaming, you're regretting, whatever. It's just like, you know, you're going to have this mentality, pity me, pity myself in the places that I find myself in as this thing, it's that thing. But it's like, nah, man, just focus on yourself. And as long as you're winning, you got you, you're making progress, you're doing the best. I feel like that mentality, that will carry you. But um, I'm not winning, Neve. I just got out there to the world. I'm not winning. Yeah. Everything is just giving me lemons. I don't want to take it and make lemonade. I just want to throw it away. But that's the thing, right? When I say winning, I mean winning within the mind. Okay. Like knowing that you're doing your best, knowing that you're progressing, knowing that you're learning because... So it's, 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 it's not about the, the, what the next person has to say with, A, hey, we see you doing this. Well done. Mm. You know, it's, is just got about being you being able to acknowledge yourself yeah and just being able to say hey i'm able to do this what not what not although people don't see it and what not because you need to have your, your you know your life in your own hands your decisions in your own hands okay, they, they okay. call it an, an external locus of control right say so it again you, external locus of control mm -hmm. so it's a thing of like if you can't like i mean it's good to be praised and it's good to have people who love and encourage you but if you're constantly seeking validation and constantly seeking for the world to tell you this and somebody to recognize your potential like as i said you just put in the power in too many people's hands in too many things i like, put the power within yourself like, oh, own, own, like own your mentality damn. you know what i'm trying to say instead of letting it uh be 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 let the environment decide yeah 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 because because why do we call ourselves failure because we think we are or that because why do we call ourselves fragile failure or oh, failure okay. yeah it's because isn't it rooted sometimes in comparison I see what you're doing. Okay. I'm not in that level, so I call myself a failure. Okay, okay, okay. You no, know, but now if I'm looking at my progress, I'm not where I was yesterday. You're progressing. I made progress. Mm. So if I just had to look at myself, I'm winning. You're always winning. You're but if I'm looking passing. at other things, like, hey, I don't have that money. I don't have that. I don't have this. I, I feel like it's that, isn't it, to some extent? Mm, mm. So I think in that tone, then, Neve, excuse me, I think sometimes what, can you put this aside, sorry. <laughs> no, just that for the angle. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I think now with the, uh, it's the damn. I lost my trail of thought. Shouldn't have moved that glass. I man. shouldn't have touched that glass. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> no. But I think though, I'm just gonna kind of spin off what we're talking about though. Um, we sh it shouldn't be dependence on. Oh, yes. I yeah. Know. Yes. So I think our problem end, ends up becoming like, um, whether it's me, a religious bay boy, going into a city that I would define big, like Durban, mm. and do like it will always be a different environment mm. and a different type of circumstances. And I think it's that difference that kind of also makes us notice other things yeah. you know just because these things are new to us mm. they almost knew in the sense of that hey i'm 19 and i'm out here but he has a 19 year old and he's driving his car and he's yeah. fine yeah, he's yeah, everything yeah, like yeah. that now you're becoming exposed to these different environments and now you 
now that's when you start drawing yourself into what you're saying is comparison. Yeah. And I think, I think it, um, the way we can more or less give thanks to ourselves, the more we can uh, uh, acknowledge the good that we do or the greatness that we've done. I think it's, 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 it's yes, being able to be accustomed to another environment, but not, don't measure what you got going or your success with the environment. Yeah. You know, or what the environment around you is doing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's very interesting. It's very interesting. So, um, so now, yeah. So now this is the start of your journey. We are out here now, like, uh, I think, oh, yes, you mentioned some confusion. So now you're in engineering. Mm. This is confusion. Um, well, in there, at that moment, you'd call it, you'd call it being fine, actually. Huh? You didn't? No. Yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you made it seem like it's being fine. <laughs> That's what it is. You make it seem like it's being fine. But, bruh, actually talking to the next person, you get so much in common. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, 100%. Bruh, and it's yeah. like, then you're like, no, I shouldn't keep these things in. Like, we shouldn't keep these things in. Though, yeah. Bro. Like, it's definitely things that we should speak about t- if anyone are friends, you know? Not hoping Uguzi they can relate. Don't hope Uguzi you speaking to or direct people that can relate. Just speak to people that you can most open up with. It's the art of letting out, isn't it? It's mm. like it's like look at this cup, bro. Like if you have all these anxieties, stresses, and stories that you have, you're not opening up to anybody. How is there supposed to be more room for future blessings and things to hit you? Bro? Oh, sure. Like it's mentality, as I said. Like you gotta sometimes you gotta just be able to let out emotion in order to move forward, let go of things, and so mm, I mm. feel like having a conversation is always very important. Yeah. You know, because you don't even need to tell me anything, but just the fact that I materialized this, I spoke it out, it's like a weight's been lifted off. I feel like that's very important for anybody. Yeah. And also for yourself. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I think yourself, you, I think that's the main topic that I'm going to keep just bring up, especially because you're talking about journeys. Mm. I'm just, it's your journey, mm. your decisions. Your outcome, what you do, you know, it's like, it's you. Mm. But I'm sorry, carry on with your, <laughs> with your story. You're in first year, you're doing engineering. Yeah. You know, you're having a good time. It's all good. Uh, so, yeah, um, had an okay year. To be honest, nah, I didn't. Let me, let me actually think back, man. Uh, that year was kind of rough. I was stressing, guys. Mm. I was stressing, man. I lost hair. Like, I had this. I don't know, Sam. You know, Nevaeh tells us about that every year. I never saw it, but he tells us about that every year that guys are used to lose hay right over here. <laughs> it was like a sickness, like like something, I don't know, bro, what it was called. Stress. But it was because of stress. Mm. I was losing hair. And I think it was like more the emotional turmoil than like actually grinding hard, you know? Mm. It's just because I didn't want to be there, like waking up, working so hard and your oh, heart's not fair. in it and stuff. Oh. I think it was getting to me. And the stress of, will I finish? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So eventually... Well, how will I finish? <laughs> <laughs> I, I drop out of that. Is this in, um, in uh, at the end of the year? This is at the end of the year. Okay. I decided to start again. And go ah, you and, did your first year engineering longer than me. How, uh, why, how long did you do it? I dropped off after first semester. Okay. I dropped out after no, first sorry. semester and then some. Uh, two, because first semester was civil. Mm. Second semester was mechanical, mechanical for two like, weeks. Yeah. For two weeks. Oh, two weeks only, yeah. bro. I yeah. thought it was longer. <laughs> anyway, we both dropped out. So yeah. from there, I decided to try and get into business. Um, I've always wanted to get out of KZN, so the opportunity opened up. But you're already out of KZ. Oh no, no, you're still in New KZN. Sorry, you're still, I'm still in New KZN. KZN. Yeah, so then I'll... No, no, no. But you're spending. You're living in Westville. Yeah. But you're studying in Howard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, opportunity opens up to go study in Pretoria. That's where I find myself. Um, studying business now. Still within the business field, doing marketing and so on, as Tiny said. And yeah, bro, so that's, I guess that's where I really found a good environment. So I, made, I made a few friends of people who are, who are business owners, you know, at a young age, people who are photographers, people who are doing things. 
And that was just infectious for me, man. Mm, mm. You know, because as I said, I always mm. had a passion, always had an eye for this thing. But, but you never saw the fruits of it. Yeah. And yeah. so once I associated myself with a group of people who were proactively doing these things, I hopped on it, man. You know, gave me some motivation to do it. Yeah. And that's where it started. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So picked up a camera. Um, do you remember the first thing you shot? Uh, oh, at least the first great thing you shot. The first great thing I shot. Well, I was also I was also uh, shooting in in uh, in church. Okay, that sounds bad. I was taking pictures in church. Um, so they had a few conferences, right? Musical conferences and so on. You know, having performances. Yeah. And I feel like that was one of the greatest shots I had. It was like a person's. The black and white one. You know it. And you take the, the one. shot there from far. Yeah. I know that shit. I sent it to you. Yeah. That's the first time I saw <laughs> you still, it. That's your shot. That's, that's my shot. That's my bro, shot. That's I what I was like. I think you sent that picture to me like five times, bro. <laughs> I kept to saying, yo. Yo. That's all I could say. Yeah. Because that time, that was 2017. Yeah. I hadn't that's touched That's when I just picked up a camera. I hadn't touched it. So I was like, yo. Yeah. I was only in the talks of it. That's why you kept talking to me about it. Yeah. I was in the talks of it because um, still I was around with the camera, but you had you had nice cameras around you there. Because I was shooting for them. I didn't own my own camera yet. Did you say that? Let me, let me, let me, let me. Yeah. Actually track back to a conversation where when you took that picture, you're like, I took this picture with no lens. What do you mean with no lens? Well, that's what I... <laughs> 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 now this is what I'm wondering Neve I can't make this up I can't make this up Listen to me Listen to me So you see that very picture I yeah. can't forget it Yeah I will never forget that picture Right Um Cause I have a photographic memory <laughs> <laughs> Oh Come in the game with You it. get it You okay. get it right Photo Photograph photo, you, you guys You get it right You get it So Anyways Um that picture there, I think 2018. Mm. 2019. 2018 and 2019, actually. There's a time, like, once or twice where I stop to myself. I'm like, no, this is now I'm understanding cameras and whatnot, whatnot. Now, Neve took that picture with no lens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I damn, think you said you're using a 5D, Doug. Yeah, I was using a 5D. A 5D. You said to me, no hey, lens. Geez, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know, know what whether I was you saying. meant that was a kit lens. I think I meant a kit lens. I think I took it with a kit lens. Was it a kit lens? Do yeah, it was a kit lens. Then maybe you said Maybe that. that. Yes. Okay. But you no, you know what? It was. Because I remember shortly after that. Because uh, this is still beginning stages. Please, please, I got please. introduced you know, to the Nifty 50. And I was like, whoa, Boy. you know, aperture going wild, like depth of field. I think it was a kid lens. Old, yeah. <laughs> I think it was a kid lens. Bro. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's, that's the... <laughs> no lens. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I remember this. So that was your first piece, and you're like, yeah. Because I think it's always that first appreciation piece of yours or that first piece mm. that speaks to you yeah that you like I can I can do this yeah 100% like, I'm gonna go do this yeah you know so that was the piece for you that was a piece for me uh, that's dope bro that's yeah. th I, I think for me like, just cause you asked me <laughs> what is it what is it come on what's your piece I don't even know if you remember it but I wasn't so Instagramming you know but it was um but it was E uh, Batman. Yeah, 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 you remember yeah, yeah. Batman? I remember Batman. No, that was even my first video. No, that was not my first video. That was my first video. Was it? Like, yeah, yeah, on okay. A, on um, 1300D. Because mm. that was the time Stilo had his camera in 2017. And we were just 1300 d it, you know. And I remember that was my first video I shot. 2017, November. Did that shit. Put that out there. And I just, I just, I just loved, you know, the reception, the everything about it, like for the next three months, four months. Yeah. You know, 
um, I guess, which is a mentality, a, a very toxic mentality. Uh, is toxic bad? Yeah, toxic is bad. Okay, yeah, because I was about to say a very toxic and bad. <laughs> but I guess toxic is fine. Yeah, same thing, same thing. So I guess there was a very toxic mentality that I went into, you know. Um, and I don't know if many of us fall into it, but like it's like the glorifying stage of, um, oh, I did this. Look at it. Mm, mm. Tell me. Tell me it's good, mm. you know. Like, and then when I get those four people that tell me it's good, now I want to put it out there more. Tell me it's good. Tell me. Now, I just want to get validation from other people that my shit is good. Mm. You know? Yeah. Which, as as I grew as an artist, you know, it was like, it's not about validation from anybody else but yours. Yeah, 100%. You know, because we all do everything. Like, you know, did you know? Did you know? Mm. Someone walking into a room... Someone walking into a room, yeah. you can shoot it a thousand different ways. A thousand different ways. Yeah. But the way I decide to shoot it might be different from another artist, the way that they will shoot it. But now that's what makes me unique and different as an artist. Yeah. The way I've done my great video, I must be able to appreciate it in the way that I wanted to do it. Mm. You know, without any validation, without any confirmation from anybody else, mm. which is now, I think that we artists fall in the trap of in the beginning of our of our careers, or some artists fall into it long term. Well, I haven't met anyone, so I won't say they do. I just I'll just say I hope they don't. Where now? Artistry is about 0% clout, my man. Yeah, because you'll get humble real quick. Bro. Because you know why? Why? Because, like, as you're saying, you know, you're looking for this validation. People are clapping hands. It's all exciting. You know, you get hyped up. But then as soon as you decide that you want to be great, that you want to be on a certain level. Yeah. And you look at the people operating within that level that you're trying to reach, bro. Yeah. You'll get humble real quick. Mm, mm, you know? Mm. So, like, yeah. ah, doing it for clout, bro. It won't last you. Nah, you'll get like, and you'll get a reset real quick. You'll get tired, bro, because like I feel like the um you as an artist being able to this is weird I'm thinking of, but it's so complicated. I'm just trying to get it out of my head actually. What's that? I don't know. I don't even want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just about like um just being able to do this thing and survive and sustain yourself long term in it. Mm. You know? Because if you do People will disappoint you so quick, you know, because you do something there, you get that clout, you get the clout. Now you want to do something else. But the thing that you want to do next, you want to do it for the clout. But you don't get that reception that you get first time. Yeah. Now you're in this disappointment phase where you're just so disappointed in yourself just because of how people didn't react to your thing. Mm -hmm. You know, 100% bro. which it shouldn't be about that. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be about that. But anyways, that's just all I wanted to say about um, the first project. And I think the way it should make you feel is just more of like, I did this. Yeah. You know, I yeah. did it. Um, yeah, but anyways, moving right along to uh, our second year. Are we in the second year yet? Um, yeah, let's get to the second year because yeah. the first year was just more of the same. Uh, well, no. We're in second year now. Hey, yo, shout We're out to Star. We got Star behind the cameras, yo, by the way. Can I have some hooters? Yo, did you restart those cameras? Did you restart the cameras? Yeah, you saying, bro? You were saying? We're going to go for it. We're not going to wait for this no, it's one. your camera. Okay. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so where we at now? So now we're in second year. We're in Pretoria, right? So as I said, pick up the camera for the first time, learning the craft, um, enjoying it, you know? Mm. Still not really doing much. And then So um, can you mention some names though, bro? Like the like the people that say hey, here's a camera, bro. Or the people that'll be like, Elijah. Hey, bro, you could it just, let's let's yeah, go. Yeah, 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 like yeah, shout yeah. out Elijah, Elijah Ilungu, bro. Mm. Um Yeah, I have seen you post Elijah. I've seen you post yeah, Elijah. Yeah, so he he's the one, right? That he was my friend. Okay. And he's the one who was shooting first, and then I'm like, hey yo, bro, I'm interested. So in how's Eli is Elijah still at it now? Shout Elijah. out to Elijah. Shout, shout out to Elijah. Out to Elijah. No, Elijah's still at it, right? What's his handle? What's his handle? Let's get uh, people on him. Let's get people. You know, 
We'll link it below. I, I don't do that. Okay. Just give me his name. Man. I don't know his. <laughs> Just Elijah Ilungu. Okay, we'll link it below somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, shout out to him. Um, yeah, so I guess I first picked up the camera with him. And then, um, to be honest, he was kind of getting stale with it because he's been shooting for a while. Okay. And so we kind of helped each other. The face real quick at calling out niggas. <laughs> it's like, like bro you're being stale <laughs> yeah you know, it's like niggas are getting stale no, like, he, he knows it and he'll know it because why i say we help each other because he came with the craft that he's already learned i came with the excitement and i just wanted to get better i just wanted to try new things and so as i'm learning from him he's also trying to be now more creative with me because we're learning new you know trying new so things now together. You, you try you he's trying to learn you're trying to learn what he's good at. He's yeah. trying to learn what you're good at. Yeah. Or what you're natural with. Yes. Straight up. Yeah. So my, like, I guess ambition with projects and so on, trying to do something different, trying to learn new things. And he is teaching me the fundamentals, the basics, how to do this and that. Um, so, yeah, from there, um, we move on to now our second year in PTA, right? And this is kind of where... I hopped into a mentality that I haven't let go of, and that's like trying to build a brand for myself, trying to build a business. Uh, started up uh, my first, well, it's not my first. Technically, my first business was in high school when I tried to sell shoes. I don't know if oh! you remember that. <laughs> How can I forget that, bro? Bro, you've been. You've <laughs> been. Like, actually, that's one of the things that I used to bring up. It's like, guys, Neve's been like at that mindset, like, in high school, you were selling shoes. <laughs> Jobs, Mike. Yeah. In Richards Bay. Rochers. Nike Rochers. Mm-mm. Hey, Rochers. You remember, bro? I used to hop onto the bike and do deliveries. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Chief. Um, so, yeah, second business. This time, obviously, now we, we're older, it's more refined. Uh, we called it Zash Tag. Basically, it was uh, affiliate marketing, social media marketing. Social media. Um, I remember exactly. Using influences and things Remember like that exactly. and so on and so on. So, yeah, um, that was second year. I ran into some trouble uh, in PTA academically. Um, so, after my second year, I didn't complete my studies. I came back to Richards Bay. So, what's running in some trouble? Like, getting over it? Um, getting over it? No. Yes not, or no? No. Okay, yeah. So, you came back to Richards Bay? Um, Is this end of the second year now? No, so... I'll 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 speak about it briefly, brief, okay. briefly, right? Okay, okay. Um, there's a few things that happened. I was trying to study. I was trying to start a business, and then I was volunteering, and so I had a full plate, and it all just really got a, away from me. Um, and I started really suffering with my mental health, being alone mm. up there, and everything like that. And so, eventually, I ended up in my second semester of my second year, ended up failing some modules, and then that's when I was just like, when my mom's like, hey can't be out here if you're failing and so on and so on. And so I moved back. I moved back and I'm in Richards Bay. And um, that's why I want to speak about mentality a lot because, uh, okay, I won't say that I had the worst dips in the world, but I've always been like up and down, you know, where I feel like I'm trying to start something and then something doesn't go my way. And then we start from rock bottom again. Mm-hmm. So now really disappointed with myself, having failed in everything, found myself in Richards Bay, couldn't pursue that business venture. In PTA, because obviously I'm not there. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's try to start something by ourselves. So because of my whole run with mental health and so on, the first thing I did when I got back to base is that I threw an event. And it's like, it's pretty... The uh, one that you did at the Outlook Church? Yeah, that's the one. At the Baptist, right? So so we use that as a venue. And hey, bro, um, I invited artists, you know, poets, spoken word, all of that, bro. To kind of just go out there, do some awareness for mental health and what people are going through. Yeah. And you find out that when you start a conversation and you start a topic, a lot of people have a lot of things to say. To say about it. Yeah. You know? You know? But they couldn't really say. Exactly. So, yeah. And it's great to speak, bro. No, it is great to speak, And bro. really creating a platform where you allow people to speak. Um, it's never a bad idea as well. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people sit on that and be like, hey, it could be nice if we could just come together as people raise that initiative raise it you yeah. know like get the people together get the topics let's speak yeah you know because you never get bad 100%. shit out of it never never never, never. It's, it's worth impossible. it it's worth it every time bro mm. yeah it's just... sorry you're saying that so anyway for me that 
like snapped me back into reality when I saw, okay, whoa, I can do something, let's do something. Because before this, I even forgot to mention, while I was in Pretoria my second year with photography, now I'm at conferences and things like that, like conferences where I'm shooting, there's more than 5,000 people at the venue, you know, I'm shooting like on some big stages, you know, part of a photography team and stuff. I'm learning a lot, really on a high, then you come down low. So that being able to pull off an event for something that I was struggling with, that was really like, okay, let's, let's, let's try to hop onto this again. Mm. So that's when I started with my mm, mm. third business, uh, Monet's Media. And that was like a full media house where we do like uh, graphic design, mo- social media marketing, photography and all of those things. And we're still out here with Monet's Media. We just don't acquire it right now. Yeah. I'm not, oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't asking you. No, let's get to that because you were there with it. Yeah, definitely. You were there with Monas Media because yeah, then yeah. I eventually ended up coming to Durban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And kicking it off there. Mm-hmm. Uh, that time um, when, you know, things were looking promising, I had a few clients, um, projects were coming up. Then you know what happened. Car gets stolen. Equipment gets stolen. Bro. Um, I had to shut down the business because obviously I didn't have equipment. And so again, it's like, how do you find yourself? You know, where do you find yourself from here? And you got to keep moving forward. Mm. Yeah? 100%. Yeah, 100%, bro. So, you know, um, get a job in advertising in Durban, working in Durban CBD as a digital media coordinator. Um, Then COVID happens, bro. Yeah. COVID. And then I got retrenched from that job. I uh, had to move back to base. And now now I'm like in the pits, bro. Because, mm-hmm. okay, I started off... In the pits in terms of photography, media. Everything, yeah. Because, like, yeah, when I came back, I tried to do like one or two certificates, try to just, you know, with COVID, we were in lockdown. I tried to keep myself occupied. Then eventually it's like, man, nothing's happening out here, you know? And so I really just fell into a long-term rut. Uh where I was struggling to do anything, struggling to get anything done because I just felt like, you know, damn, so many failures, so many upsets. Like, you know, am I just going to start something again? For and I'm going to get upsets again. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, and it's a silly thing to say, but it's I ended real. up telling myself that, you know, if I fail enough times, I'll end up becoming a master of failure. And once I become a master at failure, yeah, I'll, master of something, I will learn to avoid it completely. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, 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 you know, because I would have known it. Okay. I know it. So, what I'm basically trying to say is, like, embrace the failure, because every failure brings you closer to your success. You know, and so um, fast forward during lockdown, went through that rut, picked it up again, worked on your mentality. Now we're out here. Now we're trying to get back into the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, trying to start something. Business now. number four now. Business number four. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Where we bro. at? Where we at now? Uh, so now, something totally off, an opportunity opened up. Is this 26, uh, this 2021? This is now. Right, right. Right now, 2021. Yeah, yeah. So, opportunity opened up um, doing property maintenance and high-pressure cleaning and so on. And I was like, you know, let's get it because uh, one thing as well, especially for creatives, I feel like this, right? Okay, okay, let's go. As creators, it's like we find a passion and you always want to put your heart into it, chase that 100%. And you feel like because you're good at something, you're going to get lucky. Yeah. You know, you feel like entitled because of your talent Mm. or because of your hard work. But that isn't the case, right? Like it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes because I believe like I was good at what I was doing for the time that I was doing it. But things happened, you know, things that were out of my control. Again, coming back to what I said in the beginning, like, I had to tell myself, don't put the power in things that that happen to you. Put the power in yourself. Get up again and move on. Yeah. Because, like, as an artist, as a creative, like, learn how to do the ugly things in order to pursue your dreams. You know? Don't just pick up a mic and be like, ooh, I never got to work again because I'm good at this. Like, somebody's going to find me. Oh, shit. You know what I'm trying to say? Whatever sphere that you're dealing with, like, we get too lost in our potential and our talents. And we feel entitled because of it. And so now I'm like stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, starting like a company with like hard labor and stuff. I've I've never been there. I've been working in offices and with photographers and stuff like that. You can see them, guys. (laughs) (laughs) But what I'm trying to say, bro, is like, man, just do whatever you can. Like, take every opportunity you get and move 
towards your goal. Because now the money that I'm going to make from this, I can finance my photography business again. I can give it back into our... Monus Media, want. which is... Yeah, Monus okay. Media. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is like, man, just life's not pretty. So don't stop treating it like it's pretty. Do the ugly things. You know, do whatever you need to do to get it done. And have vision. Have vision, man. Never stray mm. from it. Never, Straight never, never, up. Yeah. Life ain't pretty. Nah. I like that. Nah, it ain't. You no. just heard a jail from a pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Life ain't pretty. Life ain't pretty. Nah, bro. Those are those are deep words, bro. And that's the journey where it is, and that's how it's come about, and that's where it's at now. Um I I was almost like almost disappointed. <laughs> You know, oh, it's time to be honest. Yeah, That's yeah. It's time to be honest. Yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, of yeah. Let's go. I was almost disappointed, bro, because like, okay, so guys, I keep in touch with Neve like a lot. Now, even if we, even if we don't always speak, like I know what's going on. He knows what's going on. You know, I can tell him some shit right now. He'll be confused that you're not supposed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to know I'm thinking that, but like I know type of thing. You know, and um, like I even said in the beginning, like he's very intelligent oak, very very ambitious oak, very much of an oak that if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Mm. You know, and I know myself, and like I know for a fact I can't mention by name, but other guys as well in our circle have taken many pages, many lessons from yourself, mm. right? Shut many, up. many, bro. And it's definitely something you should be proud of, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely something you should be proud of. Uh, you've inspired us and made us see many things, bro. Uh, one of the silly things I'll just mention, <laughs> just one of the silly things, I'm just going to mention the silly thing. Yeah. Is your stubbornness. Yeah. Like, if Neve says this is this, right? And I want to say no, but it's this. If Neve could realize that, no, it actually is that. No. Neve is going to make me realize that I'm bullshitting. <laughs> And that's a 100% skill. <laughs> it's talent. Right. <laughs> and uh, there's nothing really that I've seen you put yourself into that doesn't go well. Right. Mm. And, 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 and. Now, that's one advice that I want you to walk away from my side. 100%. Is that I think... And my observation, like you having these many talents, you having this mind, I think whatever you go into, yeah, it will always challenge you. But you don't have a small mind. You have a huge mind. Mm. So the challenge will always be huge. It will never be small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be so huge that it'll make your hair fall off. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like it did. It, like it did. Yeah. It'll... Be a challenge so huge that it'll make you make six different businesses mm. in different fields. Yeah. You know? Mm. But I'm going to call you out. Okay. On camera. Okay, call me out. <laughs> I'm going to call you out. I say with absolute, absolute confidence and surety mm. that Nove could do anything that he wants to. Okay. If he sticks to it. Yeah. I owe for my life. I owe for my life. I understand that there's, you can make a greater plan for something else. Mm. But I think if you, I'm not saying don't do as much as you do right now, but I think that all the things that you do, there will be a challenge that you will never expect. Yeah, always. Which is what has been happening. Yeah, yeah. Good luck to the business now. But there will be a... Don't for a second expect to go to no. Because I've done these other things and I've been failures here. There won't be a failure. There will be a failure. Mm -hmm. And that's for everyone. Yeah. There will be some kind of failure. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the process. And it's nothing that comes your way. It's not, not that it's not supposed to be coming your way. It's definitely supposed, because you are the person that can stand up to that. You know? And I won't lie, bro. As my friend, as my brother, that's the thing that I've always um, like sat down and just looked at with you. Yeah. And it's also a thing, though, 
that I've also been able to also look and learn from that. No, but, you know, I'm going through this and this and this. Just believe in it. Just believe in it. Just believe in it. You know, as much as I can. You know. Mm. And it's what friends are for or the people in your environment are for. Not that it's for us to judge them. Not that it's for us to worship them for what they do. Not that it's for us to clap our hands. Not that it's for us to say, ah, you know. But it's for us to learn from the good and bads that this person has, you know. And not the goods more than the bads. Or not the bads more than the goods, but equally. Whatever yeah. is in you, in your way. Because like we're speaking about, as much as to your journey... But this is my journey. Yeah. And you are in my journey. For not a mistake, but for definitely a reason. Mm. And th the best or the most I could do is now pick up pieces and learn from this. You know? Yeah. So, so I'm grateful for you, bro. And I'm grateful for everyone that's in my sphere. You just, oh, the very as well. He fucking helped me <laughs> so much, guys. Yo, guys don't know this. I try to put you in the crisp, bro. I don't know what you put you as. But, you know, we still going to speak about that. <laughs> we'll speak about it. We'll speak about it. <laughs> but he helped me, guys, like, with <laughs> Kaleidoscope. Like, I had many conversations with Neve, And that's why I'm also saying at that. At Starbucks. At Starbucks. Yeah. At Starbucks, you know. And he probably doesn't know it. But the ways he's motivated me, the ways he's made me uh, oversee things, be able to look at things in a certain manner. Um, and I know for a fact that he belittles that thing that he has. You know? What do you mean? Or you underestimate it. It's, and it's not your fault. Okay, yeah. It's your humbleness. You know? Yeah. And I want to say that, guys, if you're a humble person, you know you're a humble person. And acknowledge the fact that you're a humble person. Mm. But don't, don't just step back or shy away from what you're good at. Yeah. And the type of lights that you shine. Yeah, so don't let like your 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 humility be a lack of confidence per se. Yes, sir. Like, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. If you want to put it in English like that, <laughs> that's the one. That's the one, bro. That's the one, bro. So, um, I really, really, like, in a way as an academic, I was, I was mind blown. You know, like mind blown, like, like wow, this guy is so smart. But like, in the very in the creative sphere, was so like so academical. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was so like for me, like obviously, like I was around you starting the stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, and. You the one that made me realize the brains that goes behind all of this. Mm. You know, like literally, bro. Like you made me realize the brains, the thinking that you gotta go through when you're doing this shit, yeah. Yeah. You know, because yes, you find what you're good at and you find what you like, but you gotta make that sustain you. Mm. And you gotta be smart about that. Yeah. You know, especially being creative, especially being also a creative from base. You know, uh, there's, there's nothing happening in Bayes, literally, dog. Nothing. And, uh, but coming out of it and be able to grow in the right mentality, I think it takes a lot, you know. And uh, I'm not saying I've mastered it, but I think I've been in, my path has the right people in it. Yeah. You know, you being one of them. Yeah, yeah, And... Yeah, I just hope I could honestly see Neve back in the in the creative industry, you know. Now nah, it's coming, bro. Doing it because it's he coming. does it. He does it the best. It's coming. You know, and you guys, you'll see it soon. I swear, guys. It'll be my mission, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be, I you swear. You said it in front of the camera, I hey. swear, bro. I, now that I've said it in front of the camera, you, I swear, bro. I swear, bro. Uh, but yeah, bro. Um, in closing, though, I think we're closing. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> in closing, though, bro, um, you've told us about your journey. Yeah. You've told us what you've been through, what you come up from. Um, it's been this 
sorry, this conversation has actually been everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, most of our conversations. Well, it's a real like conversation, that. you know. Yeah. So we just yeah. yeah, most of our conversations are like that, anyways. Um, but like, can you? I don't know if it's inspirational words, if it's just closing words, anything that you feel. But like, can you like tone to like you tone to a person? A person is that like camera. Tiny Films yeah, has yeah, been in this. <laughs> Tiny Phones has been doing this for what, three years now? Because you can't, it's not your fourth year. Because Please. you started in November 2017. Yes, sir. So that's basically 2018. Yes, sir. So three years, right? Look below. Look at his channel. Look at the work this guy's putting out. And honestly, I know that everybody says it, but this guy is honestly inspirational because... What can I say? He doesn't... He doesn't like corrupt himself with overthinking... You know, he's ambitious in the fact that he backs himself. And even though it's not going to be perfect, he does it anyway. And that's the reason why I see him being as great as he is right now. And that's why I see, like, bro, you haven't even tapped into your potential yet, you know? Sure. Because, like, honestly, being back in base, and it's something that I haven't been able to hear because I was away. But, like, so many people in base look at you, bro. You know, growing up and see how you grew up and so on. And they're like, damn, bro. You know, people talk about you. People are proud of you. And I'm proud of you, dog, because um, watching you as well, being especially, like, as I mentioned, within the rut that I was in, watching you makes me hungry to get back into the creative sphere again. Because mm. I'm like, yo, look what my homie is doing, you know? Yeah. Um, not in an envious way, not in a jealous way, but, like, I'm proud of what you're doing, you know? Yeah. And I want to be with you, want to be with you with the journey and do things with you and make moves, so... In that, bro, what you're doing is an inspiration, your craft, the amounts of energy, the amounts of work you put into it, the late nights, bro. Mm. And I know ultimately you're doing that for yourself, and rightfully so. Sure. But but no, bro, like all your homies, everybody who's watching you will be proud. You're an inspiration, bro. And yeah, dog, keep doing you. We can't wait to see what comes from this. Sure. Because, bro, it's only been three years. When we get to 10, what is it going to look like? Yeah. Homie's going to have his own production company. Yeah, 10 years. Huh? <laughs> Ten years, bro. Im- no, imagine, bro. Uh, hey, chief. Uh, nah, shout out, bro. We're keep going, doing bro. you, homie. Shout out, my G. Thank you so lot. Thank you so lot, man. Um, that was in the vague, guys. Yo, you made me cry. But you know, let's cut this before <laughs> shit gets too real. You can follow behind the creation. You can follow behind the creation at behind the creation underscore on Instagram. I'm only it's only on Instagram. You can follow myself on Tiny Films underscore. On Instagram and Twitter. You can find me on Facebook as Utabo Tiny Numalo. And it's socials, bro. Um you can find it on the very moment. He was about to explain that no, I don't do this. I'm do not really that, on the man. socials right now, but yeah, yeah. you can find me the very moments on everything. Yeah. Yeah, everything the very moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then by October, uh, you can also watch out for Monets Media. Yeah. Uh it's gonna be not that it's only starting then. It's already started, but by then we'll be in a continuing process. Uh because we already spoke behind cameras, guys, by the way. By the <laughs> October things will be in running, you know. We spoke about that. <laughs> and um yeah, you can follow also behind the um sorry, kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope, we just Shout dropped. out to Kaleidoscope. <laughs> Season red we just dropped. now. Season red, uh just dropped on Sunday. On the 11th. On the 11th? It dropped on the 11th. What, and what? yeah. Hey, bro, we dropped this after. So it's like speaking after too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, guys, thank you very much for um, sticking behind for another episode. Sorry that this one was a little bit long, but it's my boy, my homeboy. Never yeah. wanted. You know, and um, from Tiny Films to the world, love you guys. Peace and love, yo. Throw, throw, throw a sign or something. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like a... What do they call it? <laughs>